the Golden Glove guys, this is GoldenLock582, and welcome to the February 2016 Golden Game Collection video. Um, this time we've got quite a few games from a variety of systems, and a lot of them are pretty decent, so, um, let's just go right in now and play the Alright, so the first game I bought last month was, uh, East 3, Wanderers from the East for the Super Nintendo, uh, and it actually also came with the, uh, maple here. And as you can see, it's in pretty good condition. If I can show it here, it's like really clean. It looks like it's like brand new, straight out of 1990 or whatever. <laughs> and um, so yeah, I, I I'm really glad I got it with the manual. It was really cheap too. I got it on Amazon. It was um thirteen dollars I think around that. And I'm really excited about getting it um because this is my first game in the E series. And a lot of people say it's one of the worst, but um I really enjoyed it. I mean. Um, Grant, I had to do a lot of grinding in it. I, I beat the game. This is one of the game, rare occasions where I've actually already beaten a game that I got in one of these videos. But, um, this game I beat, um, it, do, it doesn't take that long to beat, but the reason it takes, um, longer is because it, there's a lot of grinding you have to do to be able to take on some of the, um, higher levels. So, yeah, I'd say about, like, half the game is grinding, but still, I was able to get through the grinding because one thing, the game's music is really, really awesome. It's it's some of the, the best music I've heard so far through my Super Nintendo games. I love it a lot, and um, I don't know. I just like the game, and it, it's because it's, it is really short, so you can like just beat it really quick and all um, this stuff. Uh, <laughs> a lot of, so, some of the dialogue made me laugh. I don't know if it's of translations, but I don't know. I found some of it funny. Like um, it was just like just I, this is kind of random, but there's just like part. This is part in like the intro opening thing. Uh, well, actually, I should tell you the actual intro of the game is like a cutscene type of thing, and there's like uh, there's like some voice acting I think in it. It's, it's pretty funny, but um, no, that's not voice acting. That that must have been on a different version of the game that I watched online. This this one doesn't have any voice acting, but um, okay. So like in the opening part of the game where you're actually like in the game, um, you like go and your pal Dogi um gets to like a room at like an inn. And then, like, when when you're, you're the guy you are is Adol, when Adol enters the room, he just says, Nice room, Dogi. And I just, like, imagine him saying that so sarcastically, like, Nice room, Dogi. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's probably dumb, but I thought that was funny because I just imagine him saying it sarcastically. But, um, yeah, that's, that's what you get when you just have text. You can't really show emotion, so no one knows what's really going on if there is anything going on. So. But anyway, I like this game. I, I recommend it. <laughs> so, um, next up, I've got um, a bunch of games. I do not own the system these are for. My brother bought the system. Um, but I bought some games on the day he got it to play on it. So, here we go. We've got an ES game. Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest. Dra no, Dragon Warrior. Um, Dragon Warrior is what the series is called in the U.S. I don't know if it's called that anymore, but it was for, like, the, um, back in the day, I guess. Um, this was really cheap, um, and I heard it's one of the best games, that, it's at least one of the best RPGs on the NES. So I tried it out. Uh, I haven't played that much of it yet, but it seems pretty solid so far. And, um, yeah, I, I can't really, uh, I hate having to say this all the time, but I don't really, I can't really say to recommend it. But so far it seems pretty good, it doesn't seem to have that many major flaws. Um, if you don't like the JRPGs though, the turn-based style, just like wait, atta like attack, or wait for them to attack you, then attack, wait for them to attack, you know, it's like taking turns like that. If you don't like that, then that's exactly what this game is, it's a really classic RPG, so maybe not buy it for that, but I'm in, I'm, I like that kind of stuff, it's, it's, it's alright for me, I can enjoy it. Uh, next up, I kind of tore the sticker on this one. I haven't been able to get that off yet. But, um, Sight Bike. This is an NES, cl NES classic. It's, um, just like Dragon Warrior. It's a, it's pretty fun. You've got, like, the motorcycle guys, and you can, you can like, race on these tracks, and there's, like, a bunch of hills. And, like, you'll do, like, wheelies and, like, flips on the hills and stuff, like, right up and then flips. I don't know, it's just cool for that. And I, I can like it. I can recommend it for that. It's, it's, it's solid. It's a classic game. And next up... Um, I don't know what I was really, well I do know what I was thinking when I bought it, it's because Pro, Pro Jared, Pro, Pro, that, whoa, Pro Jared played this game on his channel, and that video was so funny, I loved his video on it, 
So I was like, I'm gonna buy this game because I found it at the store. I was like, I'm gonna buy this. It's highlight, and this game really does suck. <laughs> um, the first screen I remember from the video, you have to like, there's like a bunch of reasons. Keep, the slimes on the screen just keep respawning. You're supposed to grind them so you can get stronger and level up. It takes so long to level up. I got like halfway through it twice. Both times I died because the slimes do so much damage. You can only take like two hits. And um, yeah, I just had to turn it off. And it was only like 10 minutes. I was only playing for like 10 minutes trying to grind that uh, over and over. And then I just gave up right then. Um, I might try to beat- I'm going- I am going to try to beat this game at some point, but it's so bad, I don't know how long that may take, because this- this game really does suck. Uh, but... I- I would not recommend it unless you- you're into torture yourself. I don't know. That's what a lot of other people say, so I'm gonna say that same thing. If, if you don't- if you want to buy that game, it's because you want to torture yourself. I, 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 I guess I want to torture myself, but... No, uh, not really, because uh, I'm in the living, but, uh, okay, here. Destroy all humans for the PS2. Um, this game, um, I don't know, it's weird. Uh, everyone else who was with me at my store, my brother and my dad, they were both like, no, don't buy that game, buy something else cool. And I was like, I, I heard this game was pretty good, why shouldn't I buy it? But they all were just so against me buying this game, I don't know why. But I bought it, and I like it. It's pretty fun. Um, it's basically... It's based on like really old like 60s like 50s 60s like type movies like the black and white type movies with like aliens in it and like oh alien invaders and stuff and, like the the whole game is basically a joke based on that and like all the people uh, when you, that you meet on earth are like you can read their thoughts and they're just like so sort of, like typical stereotypical stuff from like that time um but it's, it's really funny, and uh, oh, another example of the, like, okay, wait, I should actually describe what you do first. For, so it's like, um, the guy you are, Crypto, um, is like the name of the alien you are. Um, he like crash lands on Earth in his UFO, and they like take him hostage, I think. So, like, they like, you know, like, take him, bring him like Area 51 or something. And then, um, but the aliens, the species that you are is like cloning stuff. So, the, like, alien leader guy clones Crypto, and then you're playing as a clone of Crypto, so you're, you're also Crypto. Wow, this is really confusing now that I'm saying it out loud, but, um, <laughs> so you, like, basically have to, like, I don't know if you're trying to save Crypto, I really don't know anymore, because the game mostly just seems to be based on destroying humanity, because you're trying to, like, control humanity and also destroy- I don't know, I'm just getting really confused on what I'm actually doing in the game. Because it is like at first I was like, are we saving myself or are we destroying humanity? And now it seems like more just destroying humanity. But I mean that's the title too, so that's why I'm whatever. Anyway, this game's fun. There are um, UFO. You you have a UFO. You can get in it. Use a destructo ray and just blow down the houses. Um, it's a cool. It's like it's like, it's like a Grand Theft Auto kind of system. Like you know what I've seen is like um. You like do stuff and then you get like stars and it does like higher stars the more cops come after you. Well in this game it's like um you get like some attention drawn to you and then if you get more you get the police on you, if you get more you get the military on you, if you get more you get the FBI on you. So um well not it's they're not called the FBI, but it's basically the FBI. So um this game's just fun if you wanna blow stuff up. Um and oh yeah, I was gonna tell you, the um the one thing that was really funny about this game for me so far is um this one mission where you like take um y you have like a hologram thing to make yourself like disguise as a human so like you disguise yourself as the mayor and then you go up and give a speech trying to calm everyone down about the aliens because everyone's like oh my gosh there must be aliens doing all this stuff and then so you have to like disguise yourself and calm them down so they don't get on you so then you disguise yourself as the mayor and i get like up on the podium and stuff and you get to actually choose what you say and I went through all the choices, and I found one, it was blaming on communism, I did that and it worked, and it was hilarious. I just blamed the whole thing on communism. Yep. So, I don't know, this is kind of funny, I like it. Uh, the last game we got here is, uh, well this is going to be a short one, I'm sorry. But the last one we have is Killzone, and um, I have not played this yet at all. Um, <laughs> But judging from the fact that it has um, spanned a whole series leading up to the PlayStation 4 now, um, with Killzone Shadowfall, that was like the latest game I think, um, then uh, I'm 
guessing this would be pretty good. I mean, it looks cool. It's like a futuristic shooter game, and you got guys shooting on uh, um, the back. Um, I didn't even think I read the back. I just bought the game because I was like, oh, I can get it for free, so why not? Um, let me read this. It says, like, in an era of planetary colonization, the Hellgast await orders to initiate a massive blitzkrieg on the outlying ISA colony, Vecta. Initiative will be obtained. Armies will be en armies will engage and lives will be lost. Amidst the chaos of squads, soldiers will become heroes. But yeah, that, that sounds pretty cool. So, this game might be fun, but I don't know yet. So, I don't know. But, there we go. That's all the games I got last month. Uh, and like the video if you liked it. I think I did a lot better a job, like, talking in this one. I don't know, I, I'm pretty proud of myself for this. But, um, yeah, like the video if you liked it. Comment if you have any suggestions of game, games for me to buy. Like, comment that. If you, like, know of a cheap game, then, um, tell me, and then I'll maybe order it or pick it up, whatever. And I'll try it out. Um, but, yeah, uh, and, uh, subscribe if you want more. Uh, peace out. And be supreme.